All right, got one of my friend's BMW M3s. No start condition. We think we know what's wrong with it already. We've been through this one time before. He put a new starter in it. Wouldn't start a couple months later, just out of the blue. Push the start button, nothing happens. We pulled everything apart, realized the connector had come off the starter. We're thinking that is what happened again. If so, we're gonna make sure that does not happen, but I am gonna show you how this all comes off. This is a four liter V8 BMW M3. Awesome car. So the pain in the butt part is this. Then you do have to remove the air box to get the screwdriver over here. So this comes out, this whole piece. Start by taking the cover off, then the rest. Obviously, that's pretty dirty. All right, then you gotta take these. I believe there's one under the air filter as well. Um, but, essentially you get the idea, boot comes off, air box comes out, then you can get your screwdriver to the front too. Now, a lot, what a lot of guys do is they don't really tighten down the back ones because they're so hard to get to. Um, usually you're never going to have air sucking past those seals anyway because they're pretty tight, so I wouldn't worry about that. So this just sits where the filter is, so you just push the filter back, lift up, and that comes out. And then, again, these two. I don't think he has anything else securing it, which is awesome, so I'll take those two out. All right. Got all our stuff sitting there. Now, you guys can see those heads. You gotta loosen those up to pull this plenum up. You gotta get aggressive, and then what you do is you pull up super hard. I've already released it. The first time I grabbed really hard and pulled, it lifted right up. You just gotta make sure all those boots are loose. What you don't want to forget is that, I can't remember, I don't think there's one back here, but there absolutely is a hose that attaches back here. So you see when I lift that, I made sure I had the pliers on that so it would release. So now we can take this just like such. What I usually do is stick my arm in it. Well, that's only if you're one-handed filming a, a video. But essentially, that's what she looks like, folks. That is the upper, or the intake plenum, as we would say. Now, you got the heart of the engine, all the ITBs, individual throttle bodies. So, there is some disassembly required, you guys. Um, <laughs> the starter is down there. Try to focus on it. See that? They are not fun, guys. Not fun on these models. So, what we do, we're gonna start off, disconnect everything that attaches to this harness so we can get a little play in the harness. And then what we're gonna do is peek down there and see if we can reseat the connector without taking the whole thing apart. Maybe, maybe not. If you ever have to do an air pump on one of these, now you know where that is as well. That's a relatively easy job. So, I'll do a little underhood inspection here. I love these cars, I'll tell you. Absolutely love them. 
They are gorgeous cars and they are rocket ships. Not the fastest thing in the world, but plenty of power for the average Joe. What else we're doing here, guys? Look at that. Beautiful. We're gonna be putting a carbon fiber hood on. I'm not gonna tell you the car yet. You gotta wait and see. Okay, so what I did is remove the bolts. There's two in the back corner, two up here. You gotta disconnect a bunch of stuff and then you can lift it and kind of move it over. See how it's not on the studs? I just gave myself some room to, uh, to look down in here. Now, if we move some connectors around, we can look down there, try to get some, some light. Now, what we're thinking is that that connector is loose enough where it should just pop off. Yep, it's exactly what's going on. See, if we get in front of it. It's not on there tight. See, I just moved it. Here, I'll get you some better lighting. There is that connector right down there. And it is not tight. Hence why we got no starter action. So we're gonna address that right now. Had to get in there, but as you can see, look at the starter. See how much wear is on that connector? It's been sitting there vibrating and just wearing off the plastic because it's been loose. And it does still have the retaining clip on it try to film that for you guys it does still have the retaining clip but it keeps coming loose so what i'm gonna do and i would not advise this for you guys i'm going to put some plastic epoxy around the outlet i'm gonna stick it on there nice and tight and then i'm gonna put some on the outside and make sure that never comes off again if we need to at some point readdress the starter We'll break the connector off, get a new connector. And uh, that'll save him a lot of money right now because I will say pulling the lower intake and all the throttle bodies, not really something I wanna do right now and not really something he wants to pay for. So no harm, no foul. Sorry about the noise, but as you can see, very dirty. We're gonna go ahead and wash it. I'm gonna pick on someone for not cleaning their filter. Ryan, look at all this shit. That's all from the filter. That's all from the filter. And the filter still isn't 100% clean. A lot cleaner than it was though. One more pass should be good. Well, you can call me a hack. You can call me a tech, whatever you want, but she's fixed. I epoxied that uh, starter trigger connector. And uh, guess what? It ain't ever coming off again. And considering the starter's only about seven, eight months old, I don't think we'll ever be doing a starter again. So one thing I do get is some pretty cool cars. I'd love to own one of these, I'll tell you that.